Welcome back to Black Widow Fishing, I'm Bryce. Today we've got our typical unboxing, but it's not gonna be typical. It's gonna be totally different because of the shipping delays with the weather and everything else, including the holidays. We not only got our mystery tackle box, but we also got our monster bass box at the exact same time. This has not happened before, and I really don't have the patience to wait for the other box to arrive, because one usually comes well before the other, and I normally do my unboxings in. But today, since they're both here, we're going to compare them head to head in a versus style match. And so we're gonna be looking at six different categories, which include the overall design of the boxes, the packaging of the boxes, the number of pieces of tackle that we get in each side of the box, the quality of those items, the effectiveness of the different types of baits along with the color for our time of the year as well as our location in the country. And that should give you a fairly good idea on which box I would recommend. And to be completely upfront, I have purchased both of these boxes with my own money. However, I am a pro staff member with Monster Bass, but that is not going to influence my decision. I lay it straight out there. So I think we should get right into it and let's see which one I think is the best. Before we talk about the individual boxes, I will tell you that we have both of the top level boxes with the Mystery Taco box, we have the Elite box, and then with the Monster Bass box, we have the Platinum box. And they're both for the Western region, California area. And they both are typically around the same price. Monster Bass does come out to be a little bit more, but not much, mainly because I have some discounts from being a member of Shop Carl's, as well as my veteran discount that I get through Mystery Tackle Box. So for all intents and purposes, the prices are the same. So we're just truly comparing the boxes and the items that are inside of there. So let's go ahead and start with the Mystery Tackle Box, and we're gonna look at the design first. So as we can see, this box is red. I haven't seen another box that is quite like this. So the red sticks out very clearly. The, you know, they have their logo here and they have a bunch of other um, little designs on the box for baits and whatnot. And this box hasn't changed since I've been getting this now for over a year. I think the outside of the box is re done really well, you know, with their marketing, their social media, they let you know right off the bat what accounts and stuff they have. So overall, I think this is very satisfactory um, as far as design. Now going over to the Monster Bass box, they take a totally different approach. They have their logo right there and they have their Monster Bass. They don't have anywhere else on the box that they have other social media outlets, but they also talk about veterans right there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it just says to our veterans and active duty military person around the world, we thank you for the service. Now, as far as I know and have been able to find, I do not get a discount for being a veteran for um, with Monster Bass. So I can say there's one thing about thanking veterans and, you know, pushing it, but there's a difference when you don't do that, but you do provide some kind of, I don't want to say an incentive, but some kind of reward, such as a discount, um, and then not really talking about it, which um, Mystery Tackle Box does. So that won't sway my decision at all, but that is something to consider. Um, and so their box has changed. When I first started getting Monster Bass, it was orange, it was really ugly and very basic. Um, just really had this design on here. But now it's more of a black gray color, almost like a gunmetal for their platinum box. And the box is really designed with lake, with lake contours. Um, so it's real subtle. Uh, and once again, it's very distinctive of which box it is. So when it comes down to the design, I don't want to have any ties, but I would say that it's pretty close to being a tie. The box is almost like the exact same box um, as far as the little designs on the corner, or maybe not the designs on the corner, but the makeup of the box itself, they're almost the same. But when it comes to actual design, I would have to go with the Mystery Tackle Box, even though I really, really, really like the Monster Bass. And I think the major difference is, is that they have Carl on it and, you know, they definitely let you know they have some of their, they have some of their sayings, but they definitely let you know right here that they have other social media platforms. And I think that that is important and that's really the only decision maker between the two boxes. So on design, I have to give the one point to Mystery Tackle Box. So now we're going to look at the packaging. And for the packaging, I can tell you that these boxes have been through hell. The outsides of them are beat up a little bit, uh, the way we got them from the post office. Plus when I picked them off of my porch, they were thrown all over the place and I've dropped them a couple times making my way out here to film. So they have been shaken up 
and tossed about. So whatever they look at inside, I think it'll really speak to the way that they are packaged. So starting with the mystery tackle box, I'm gonna have to gig them already because there's a there's quite a big opening here and whatever this is is sticking out of the box a little bit. Um, it was out a little bit more, but I pushed it in. The contents are definitely moving around in here and the, the little gaps here are quite big. On the Monster Bass box, the gaps are actually almost non-existent. You can still see them just because, you know, there are gaps, but they're non-existent. No, nothing's sticking out. So when we look a little closer at the packaging, um, if we take the Mystery Tackle box and we give it a shake, um, we can obviously hear some of the rattles and hooks inside on the lures shaking about, but what has me more in intrigued really is that I can feel and hear the items in the box actually shifting back and forth. And I don't know if you can hear that, but you can definitely hear it and you can definitely feel it. Now if we take the Monster Bass box and we give it a shake, I can still hear the rattle just a little bit. And you know, the stuff is still moving inside here, but there's a significant amount of less movement in here than there is in the Mystery Tackle box. And you're just gonna have to take my word for it, but you can definitely feel the difference. This one barely moves and the Mystery Tackle box moves quite a lot. Let's go ahead and open the boxes and see about the packaging on the inside. When we open the Mystery Tackle box, this is how it's gonna be. And so we can see that. So, to be quite honest, this is much different than I normally get from the Mystery Tackle box. As you guys saw, everything was in here pretty nice and neat. Typically, everything is thrown everywhere and there is no information that is on top of the box. They must have been listening or watching some of my reviews because I say it every single time. And this time, the card is on top of all the items. That to me is a huge change. I gotta, I gotta give Mystery Tackle Box props for that. I don't know if it's because I've been saying it for probably 12 months now and they finally listened to me or if they just decided to do it this way or if it just fell this way. But definitely looks like it was intentionally placed there. A shipping label, which is different. They normally don't include a shipping label. It's been more like a promotional card, um, but it has everything printed on here with the prices, which I cannot complain about. And I don't really care that it's a shipping label. It, the shipping labels are um, probably much more economical. Overall, Mystery Tackle Box is not too bad. Let's go ahead and check out our Monster Bass Box. And so here goes the Monster Bass Box, as you guys see before I do. There you go. And so, of course, the Monster Bass Box is the exact same way that it has been every single time. And I've said it from the get-go that the Monster Bass take extreme care in packaging their box. They always have the information on top and everything under the information packet. So let's go ahead and move that. Everything under the information packet is usually in there nice and neat, which is what it is. So looking, looking at both of these boxes, um, it's, it's really close. Looking through both of these boxes, they're pretty close to being almost the same as far as packaging. But there's one thing that I, that I really keyed in on that makes it different between both of the boxes. The Monster Bass box, like I said, has their pamphlet right on top, and Mystery Tackle box has that little um, shipping label that includes their items right on top. However, under all the rest of their tackle items in here is their pamphlet. And that's one thing that I've been saying is that I don't really care for is having it on the bottom rather than the top. So I have to give this one to Monster Bass. So the next thing that we're gonna look at are the number of items in each box. Let's go ahead and start with Mystery Tackle Box. So as I stated, we have the card. Um, so the first item in here is the Z-Man Pro Cross, and this is the deal color. As you can see that, that's pretty good. The next item are swim baits, and these are just like regular kind of paddle tail worms. Almost like a, almost, almost a cross between a, uh, a worm and a fluke, but definitely has the paddle tail. The next item inside here is the Guggen Squad, the banger, and this is the sexy shad. You can see there. Okay, the next item is the 10,000 fish, the headhunter. This is the sweet and sour sunfish, right there. 
And I will say right off the bat, this is one of my favorite lures of all time. Just FYI, you might want to pick one of these up. The next item we have is the Baker Lures JLD Series Jerk Bait. And this is the Silverback. There you go, I got a good look at that one. The next is the Guggen Squad Clutch in the Sriracha Craw. But yeah. This is a uh, lipless crank. And this has got a really loud rattle, so I'm pretty sure this is what we were hearing rattling when I was shaking the box. And then, of course, we know how I feel about the spear point hooks. We have those, and these are the three out. There's three three out there. Uh, so these will definitely be useful for what's coming up next in the box. So the next item are the Excites, the high floating. Oh, and they're basically just like a pearl with some flake in there. And there's quite a bit in here. I think there is two, four, six, eight. There's ten of them in this pack, which normally you get packs, but you normally don't get that many. Um, so, kudos. And so, obviously, our spear point hooks would go with those. You just basically you could run it as a drop shot um, and just nose hook the fluke with the spear point, or you could run it through the body. But if you're using spear points, I probably wouldn't run it through the body. I'd more run it more like a drop shot. And the last piece of tackle in here is the Reflex Swim Jig, and this is a quarter ounce. And as you can see, it's probably like in a, uh, it's more in a white and chartreuse color. And then the last item inside the box is the information. After counting up all the things in the mystery tackle box, there were 11 items. We have nine pieces of tackle, we have one sticker, and one pamphlet. So overall, value-wise, regardless of what's inside the Monster Bass box, I think Mystery Tackle Box did a fairly good job. And as I stated, there weren't any, you know, really high dollar value items. Normally they'll have something around 10, 12, maybe 15 bucks or so um, that really let you know, hey, this is the feature item of the box. This month they had two $9.99 items, but as I stated, that 10,000 fish headhunter is absolutely my favorite lure. Um, if we're not talking jerk baits or uh, crank baits, that is my favorite lure of all time, followed shortly by the dark sleeper. So value-wise, I think that this box is right on par and you're gonna actually save quite a bit of money if you got this box. So let's go into the Monster Bass box now. So right off the bat, as I stated, we have their pamphlet. And the difference between these two pamphlets is that, well, the material's different. They use more of a laminated kind of material for theirs, more like a magazine. And Monster Bass uses, it feels really like recycled paper. Um, to be honest, I prefer the recycled paper one just because I think it's more environmentally conscious, but it's also bigger. And then when it comes to the, when it comes to the information that is actually inside the, uh, the pamphlets, like I said, this one has a little bit of stories, has some jokes, kind of um, has comedic relief. And then they kind of teach you about um, some of the things in the box. And keep in mind, I said some of the things in the box. The Monster Bass, what's different is they focus specifically what's included in their box. And the front normally tells you what the theme of their box is. So this one says, New Year, New Baits. Great, I can't, can't complain about that. Um, and so it also tells us on the very back what's coming next month. And so this one says, coming next month, Strike King Takeover. So I'm automatically expecting to see some Strike King bakes, baits in next month's box. And so what's also really different about this pamphlet is when we open it up, it'll talk about their boxes, you know, their, their marketing. Um, that's not really what we're focused on. So we'll get past all their marketing. And so what they do is they begin to talk about every single thing located inside their box. And I think that's a real big difference from what Mr. Tackle Box does. So that's one important thing to consider is that everything that they give you in this box, they will include in this pamphlet, tell you how to use it, where to use it, and when to use it. And that's almost half the battle efficient. Okay, so getting into the box, like I said, everything is packaged extremely nicely. And so the first item that we have is we have the Lunker, Lunker Hunter Reactor, it's the impact series, it's sinking, it has a tight wobble, it's a half ounce, and it's two and a half inches long, and it's the silver side. And this looks pretty amazing. No complaints from me on this one. The next thing we have is the Lunker Hunter Crush. It's the impact series. It's a topwater popper. The color is lily pad. We got that there. The, <laughs> we definitely have a Lunker Hunter box which, duh, 
I overlooked it, but it tells you right here on the bottom, Lunker Hunter. So everything in this box is Lunker, Lunker Hunter. So that definitely leads my mind to believe that next month is gonna be all Strike King. The next item inside here is the Lunker Hunter Battle Beetle. It's black. I've seen this before, I've actually never used it. I always see it in the store and I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. Um, so I really have to read about this and find out what it is. I don't, I mean, obviously I can see that it's a beetle. I don't know what it does. I don't know if it's floating. I don't know. Honestly, I have no clue what this is. The next we have is the Finesse Frog. It's pre-rigged. Um, so it's pre-rigged on a Ned Head. It's a quarter ounce and it's three inches. And it's, uh, you know, basically basic watermelon color green with a pearl bottom. So it kind of looks very realistic. I've not used, I've really not used a lot of Lunker Hunter stuff at all. Um, some of the stuff that they see, I was like, man, that looks really outlandish, like something that I could kind of see in the box I'm about to show you. So I've just never really tried tried a lot of Lunker Hunter stuff. Um, but these look pretty realistic. They look almost like gummy frogs. Um, so we'll see how they do with the net. The next item that we have is another pre-rigged quarter ounce, three inch, and this is a finesse craw. This is definitely more of a watermelon pumpkin with some black flake. And it's on a on Ned, Hig, Ned Head as well. And it's got a, a weedless guard on, on this one, just like the other one did. As I was saying, the kind of outlandish looking things, which kind of has not steered me away from Lunker Hunter, but kind of put me in a different direction. Um, and so we have the Reckless Roach. This, this thing looks like a spider. <laughs> it's ginormous. The back is interesting. And again, I don't know what this does. I know it's two inches and it's three and a quarter quarter ounces. Um, so I really have to read about how to use this, where to use it, and what the intent, intent of this is, uh, just because I've never tried it. Next item that we have, uh, it says the Swim Bento. And these are in a, they're five pieces, they're four and a half inches, and it just says dates. Um, bento and dates are both Japanese words. If you don't know Japanese, I particularly do. They are basically almost fluke style baits with the paddle tail on there, um, but there's only five in here. They have resumed with the golden ticket as we normally expected. We have a Lunker Hunter sticker, so not a monster bass sticker, but a Lunker Hunter sticker. And then of course we have the $10 gift card. If you spend $25 or more, um, you'll always get a discount in there. Their boxes, like I say, and I recommend everybody use them. You're not gonna see, even though you know it's saved $10, you're not gonna see a huge savings, but it does cover the shipping, so it makes the shipping free. And just a little bit more, just something to consider. And then inside here, we've got what looks like a Lunker Hunter postcard, but it's actually a promo card, and it gives you 20% off at LunkerHunter.com. So after counting the items in the Monster Bass box, we have 11 items as well in the Monster Bass box, except we have eight pieces of tackle, we've got two discount cards, and one pamphlet. The real difference that, I, that I've seen when it comes to the actual tackle, uh, besides being all one company, which is definitely a different take, I'm kind of digging that, is that uh, Mystery Tackle Box included in their soft plastics, let's take a look at those, two packages of soft plastics, and I believe they're full packages. I don't think they're the, the promo packages. And Lunker Hunter has the one, I, just from the amount that's in here, I think there's, I think I said there was five in here. Um, so I think this is Lunker Hunter's um, full size package, but just even comparing it to the Excite Baits, um, there's a lot more in here. So you probably get more value out of this package than you will this one. And then, especially with the more intricate design that we can see here, um, just lends itself to being damaged a lot more when you either hook into a big one or get hung up. So that's one thing to consider. Um, for Lunker Hunter, I can't really say much about their other pieces of tackle. I just have never tried them. Um, the one two, the one thing that I can say about both of these, and this is not a this is not a knock on Lunker Hunter at all. Um, but the one thing I can say is that really looking at both of these pieces of tackle, they honestly look quite cheap and gimmicky to me. I don't know the cost because Monster Bass didn't include the little cost cost card that they normally do. But to be honest, these two. They just look really, really gimmicky. When it comes to value, honestly, I think both of these are going to be dead tie. You get more tackle with uh, Monster or the Mystery Tackle Box. You definitely get more tackle. You get more pieces of their soft plastic. And when you look over at Monster Bass, you do have all from one company, and it's it's a known company. It's not like it's a no-name company. So 
my remarks about it, you know, looking cheap might not even be accurate, at least until I open up the box. Um, but you have everything from one company, but not only do you get one discount that you normally get, you get two discounts. And so that can actually add up because we know as anglers, we're always gonna buy more tackle. But on the other hand, if you have the Carl's Club, or if you're in Carl's Club, you get a discount automatically and you get money back on a lot of their stuff at Shop Carl's. So I, th I think honestly the value for both of these boxes really comes down to being the same. Now going into the variety of the items, let's take a closer look at what Mystery Tackle Box has included. So Mystery Tackle Box, they included three hard baits or hard lures. They've included one pack of probably the best hooks on the entire planet. If anybody has any any other recommendations or any idea on what else is better than Spear Point, please leave it in the comments below because I'm very interested in seeing what you have to say. As far as soft plastics, they include three packages of soft plastics. They include one jig. What kind of lure this actually would fall into because it's soft and it's hard and it's like a structure and it's like a jig. It, it's got a paddle slide. It's, it's, just, it's just a 10,000 fish. <laughs> That's the best I can say for that. So the variety is there. Got three packages of soft plastics, two that are on an edge. So I would consider these basically the same. A popper, we've got a lipless crank, and then we've got two of whatever the hell you would call these. Um, these are obviously creatures, but I don't think they would technically fall as creature baits. I honestly don't know what these are. I don't know what they do. So again, I'll have to look at these and see what it is I can find out about these. Um, so variety wise, I got to give the win to Mystery Tackle Box. I, I think they've got more variety than what they do over here with Monster Bass, but mainly because they included two Ned rig setups and I'm not sure why they did that. So now we're going to look at the, the effectiveness of the baits as well as like kind of the color with given our current water temperatures in this area as well as just being on the West Coast and in California in general. Overall, looking at Mystery Tackle Box, I think that they're selection of baits overall was really, really good and well suited for this area for this time of year. However, I picked out four baits that I think are gonna be phenomenal or at least gonna, are going to catch fish pretty much no matter where you fish at. And so the first are our paddle tailed swim baits. I know this because I caught a fish on this, I think probably last week. Um, our crankbait, uh, this is more of a square bill. Um, and it will target those shallower areas where some of the bass are holding. The next one that I think is gonna work good is the craw pattern for the lipless crank. Lipless cranks always work this time of year. And then of course, I don't care where it's at. I can, I can catch anything on a headhunter um, any time of year, any lake that I've been to. Looking over at monster bass. As I said, the variety wasn't that great, but when it comes to the selections and the colors for this area in this type of, this, this area, the water temperature and the time of year, I can say that the color selection's okay. Um, okay, I'll just leave it at that, okay. Um, but overall, I'm not sure the box is going to be as effective as they want it to be. I'm also coming from a, a position of, of disadvantage because these two items, like I said, I don't know what they are. I don't know what they do. Um, and you know, I'm not going to sit here and read them right now. I will review them later. Um, so I don't know what these are. So I kind of have to just disregard these when it comes to the box. And so when we're talking about effectiveness, this is a topwater popper and you might get lucky and catch something on a popper this time of year, but honestly, I've never really had any success for a popper this time of year, whether it's in the morning or the evening. Um, I just think that this was a missed opportunity with this piece of tackle. Um, you could have included something so much better, um, you know, even like, more like a uh, finesse, finesse um, bait for a drop shot or a shaky head or anything like that. I, I don't think that a topwater popper is the appropriate thing to put in the box right now. I might be wrong, you might disagree with me, but that's just my feeling. Um, but there are two items that I do believe will work really well in here. And so that the first one is the craw with the, the net head. And the reason why I picked the craw over the frog is the frogs have, these have these really big long legs 
Um, so when they're down there in the water and the water's moving right now, especially with all the, the rain that we have, those legs are going to be kicking like that. And we kind of want to slow down our presentations when the water's cold. And the more movement you have, the more you're pretty much going to turn the fish off. So we want something that has a lot less movement than it typically does. And while I can't really, you know, tell, but these arms on these craws, um, they don't look like they have as much movement as does the frogs. So that's why I chose that. And then obviously I talked about lipless al already. Um, this will be good in more of the clear water. It has a more natural color than our other uh, lipless crank from uh, Mystery Tackle Box. So I think this will work well too. So that wraps up our comparison of both of these boxes. So let's go ahead and look at the score here. And as we can see, Mystery Tackle Box is going to eke out the win for this month. So I really think that this month's Mystery Tackle Box is a great buy. However, if you were to get the Monster Bass Box, and as I said, I'm part of the pro staff, but I would tell you it's great. If you do get the Monster Bass Box, being it that it's all Lunker Hunter, you, you won't be disappointed. You might have some new things to try like me that you've never seen before, or you've seen but you've never tried. Um, so you can't really knock it for that. But if you do go and you want to get a Monster Bass, whether Monster Bass Box or just any tackle in general from Monster Bass, use the link below in the description for me and the channel will earn a small commission plus you can use the code save 15 and you will get your first box for ten dollars so if you want to pick up all this stuff you can get this box which is normally about 39 40 dollars you can get it for ten dollars you can't beat that especially for what they did include in there um and then you can also go using the link below so after having looked at both of the boxes please let me know which box you guys prefer or which one you think is better in the comments below please remember to like and subscribe to the video it really helps the channel out and that's it for now catch you next time <music>